very futuristic uh, instrument cluster which I will show next when I reverse the car the mirrors go automatically down and uh, it has a rear view camera of course and the sensors I love the GT line steering wheel very sporty flat top and flat bottom design just like Austin Martins In this video we will do a test drive in the city and we will turn on the highway so you can learn the uh, car better. The interior is such a modern place to be. While I'm driving I will uh, show the different modes on the instrument cluster. It has quite a few. You can uh, adjust it just the way you want and it is cooled down by Peugeot of course it has the automatic wipers automatic lights buttons on the steering wheel so you don't get uh, distracted it also tells you when to change gear to drive e economical and it has a sport mode of course which I will show Personally, I like the ambient lighting in this car and the dark headliner combines really well with the dark exterior color. The engine is really nice, it pulls, it's for a 1.23 cylinder with uh, 130, horse, 130 horsepower, it's really good done. It is not a slow uh, car. I have great visibility on the road. The fuel economy combined is 5 liter per 100 kilometers. That's really good. In the city it's 6.2 liters and on the highway it's 4.3 liters per 100 kilometers. The CO2 emission is 115 grams per kilometer 115 it can pull 1300 kilograms the ground clearance is 290 millimeters the length is 4447 millimeters the height is 1624 millimeters the weight the width the car is 1906 millimeters wide. In corners the car doesn't uh, lean a lot, so that's really good.
What I also like is that this GT line has uh, very good padded seats. They support me in corners and the shape is also really nice done by Peugeot. Very sporty looking seats and design in the interior. Uh, lovely done by Peugeot. Compared to the previous 3008, this one looks very, very good and uh, modern and sporty in my opinion with the GT line. Thanks for watching.